Are you planning to go on a trip? And you really want to take all your art supplies with you? I can help you. My name is Christine and I'm a realistic watercolor artist inspired by nature. From 2016 I started watercolors and never looked back. I started as a complete beginner and now I'm helping hundreds of students to paint and enjoy the process. Over the last few years I have built my own art community where I share daily inspirations, tips and tricks, communicate with my art community and inspire for creativity. Watercolors are an amazing medium that can be quickly set up for painting whether you are going on the train in beautiful Swiss mountains, hiking with friends, going on a cruise ship adventure or even on a plane. Watercolors are allowed on board. Me and my family, we are going on a Europe Grand Tour. And I'm taking my art supplies with me. I would like to show you which supplies I'm taking and why while also trying to stay light as possible. Let's go through art supplies that are traveling with me. I have my brush and pencil case where I can fit a lot of art tools. I have my travel mini palette with metal clip I can easily attach to my sketchbook. Watercolor set consisting of 14 pigments. I have two because they're half empty. Bigger brush, another mini travel palette mechanical pencils, water brush, elastic eraser for removing excess amount of graphite, also simple eraser and a graphite stick for transferring line drawings or sketches. Pencil eraser, markers, pencils, mechanical pencils, brushes, I'm also taking ceramic palette, which fits perfectly in this brush case. Gouache paints. Maybe I will feel an inspiration to paint with gouache, maybe some landscape or an old town sketch. You never know what kind of creativity can hit you while you're traveling. I'm taking 600 GSM watercolor hot pressed paper. My last sketchbook is full, that's why I'm opening a complete brand new sketchbook for this travel. This sketchbook has 200 GSM watercolor hot pressed paper. I'm also taking a bigger sketchbook where is 300 GSM paper hot pressed. It's already started, few pages are filled, but for this travel it's more than enough. Amount of art supplies depends on how you are traveling. We are going with a camper, so I will have more space. If we would be traveling with an airplane, I would take only one sketchbook and a brush pencil case. No ceramic palette and no water glass. No extra sketchbooks and papers. Let's talk about the bag, where we can place all our art supplies. I have a hiking bag with lots of pockets. Brush case with paints are going separately, in case some paints can flow out. Don't forget about paper towels, they are a must in your art bag. Watercolor paper sheets I'm wrapping in paper towel also so they don't damage, don't get dirty while I'm going somewhere. Sketchbook fit perfectly in my big bag. Be sure that you have enough space for everything. Water glass. Again, that's because I'm going with a camper. Or if I would go with a car, I would also take. I'm taking separately smaller bags. For example, when I, when I will go to a park or to a museum, I can't take along my big art bag, so I'm taking few smaller bags. You know, girl with bags. Better to have some extra. I'm also taking a tripod for my camera and phone. That's because I'm filming while I'm traveling, filming what I'm painting or sketching. Everything is packed, checked twice, then checked again, and I'm ready to go on our family adventure. Embarking on a creative journey with watercolors becomes an enchanting experience with the right tools at your fingertips. Remember, whether you're painting cityscapes or a simple flower, 
your choice of art supplies can truly make your endeavors more enjoyable. Thank you for watching. Hope this video helps in your travel adventures and see you in my next tutorials. Thank you.